good day to all my students in industrial electronics. Today, we are going to discuss another form of gate control circuit, which is the RC gate control circuit or an ECR. So RC, of course, stands for the resistor capacitor series connection. So uh, we have already discussed the typical gate control circuit, which only uses uh, series resistors. So now we are going to add a capacitor in series with the resistors and we will connect our a gate terminal across the capacitor. Okay. Now uh, we already know that if the ECR is not yet fired, not yet triggered, uh, current will flow from the source and around this loop around the gate control circuit and once the ICR has fired since this is already a low impedance path or a low resistance path a larger current will flow uh, through RL and through the main terminals of the ICR okay now since we are talking of the gate control circuit of an ICR then we will be focusing on our discussion around this loop here Okay, so uh, the voltage equation uh, around this loop is V of T is equal to V sub R plus V sub C. Where v sub R is uh, our the voltages uh, of the resistors, and V sub C is the voltage across the capacitor. Okay, and V sub R. As I've said, is the sum of the voltages of the uh, load resist of the resistances. But since VL is uh, very small, then you can neglect that one such that V sub R is equal to the voltages, the sum of the voltages of the fixed resistance and the variable resistance. On the other hand, V sub C, the capacitor voltage, is just equal. This is this value. Uh, I equated this value since we only needed the value of the gate to cathode voltage to fire the ACR for this type of uh, circuit okay now uh, VGK ranges from 0.6 volt to 0.8 volt okay this is uh, the uh, gate to cathode voltage that is needed to fire the ACR okay now V sub C, on the other hand, is equal to 1 over C, the integral of I dt. Okay? Now, V of T, which is V sub R plus V sub C, which is equal to I R plus 1 over C integral of I dt. And I of T is given by this equation, since we are dealing with an RC in an easy source. So, this is the steady state. And this is a transient response. Okay, we are already familiar with this one. Uh, Vm here is the uh, maximum voltage. Omega is 2 pi f. Theta is the phase angle. Alpha is uh, sometimes known as the switching angle. Okay, now R is the value of the resistors. C is the capacitance. Okay. So E here is a constant value. So you you already familiar with this equation in your electrical transient subject. And alpha can be determined by this equation, R tangent of the quantity one over omega R C. Now if we have here an example, we have an R C gate triggering circuit, similar to that one we have presented. And uh, based on this circuit, these are the values of the components. So load resistance is 10 ohms, fixed resistance is 3 kilo ohms, variable uh, resistor is set at 5K, capacitor is 25 microfarad, and we have a V of T equal to 100 sine of 100 T. Okay? And we are to assume that the, vo the voltage across the capacitor is zero initially. Now we are asked to determine the voltage across the capacitor after 0 0.01 seconds or at P equal to 0 0.01 seconds. Now, 
for the solution. Now, since theta is not given, space angle is assumed to be zero. And we have to bear in mind always that when using the equation, always uh, set the angles in radians. Okay. Now, here we have V of t is equal to 100 sine of 100 t. So, at t equal to 0 0.01, we are going to determine V of t. R, as I've said, instead of including here RL, we just neglect RL because it's very small, it's just 10 ohms. So R is just equal to the sum of fixed resistor and the variable resistor equal to 8 kilo ohm. Now, uh, from this equation, we are going to determine our alpha, which is 0 0.05, substituting all the uh, values of omega, R, and C. Omega is 100 based on this, uh, on this uh, given V of T and R, 8K, and C is 25 microfarad. So alpha is 0 0.05. And substituting the values for the equation of I of T, I is now equal to 9.91 milliamperes. Now, from the equation, so we have here V of T minus V sub R is equal to the capacitor voltage. And we know that V sub R is I of T times R. So substituting V of T and I of T times R, we get V of C equal to 4.87 volts at T equal to 0 0.01 seconds. Now obviously, 4.87 volts is much, much larger than the value of VGK, which is the only voltage required to trigger ACR. So based on that comparison, we can clearly understand that 0 0.01 second is not the time needed to fire the ACR because it has already at 0 0.01 seconds, V sub C has already exceeded 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 volts. Okay? So, uh, since this is not the firing, the firing voltage is only 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 volts, your task 3 is for you to determine the time it takes for the voltage across the capacitor to reach 0.7 volt, which is within the value of VGK. It's the same circuit, the same values. So you are to determine T. But of course, if you look at the equation, if you look at the equation here, this is... Uh, uh, very complicated. That's why I I indicated in the module that you are going to use uh, numerical uh, iteration. Okay. So, this is the equation. V of M is, of course, uh, 100. So, as you can see, as we have discussed, V of C is the integral of I dt times 1 over C. So, if you integrate uh, this one, if you integrate this, and your limit is 0 to t, then you will be able, and you divide it with uh, c, then you will be able to determine your v of c. Okay? Your v of c, which is already given. So, since the equation is uh, a bit complicated, you are advised to use numerical iteration. You can use Microsoft Excel to solve that based on your use your background on numerical methods okay so that would be all